suppose, when it was congratulations all round when Keith Birkinshaw of Spurs greeted the Liverpool bench there today. We pick it up in the first half then. Spurs are in white. The break by Archibald was well timed. He was onside, but the ball didn't quite reach him. Here's Ardiles. Now Hoddle. playing it back to him, Crooks offside. Well, it was Hoddle's part in it that was quite magical, really. Beating everybody in sight, the little ball played there again, played on again, and this time, sadly for Spurs, Crooks caught offside. Again towards Galvin. He won that at the second attempt, but McDermott is right back there to help out. Ray Kennedy with the guided header here for Sammy Lee and a bit of space for Liverpool. And the long ball forward testing again the pace of Howard Gale and <laughs> Alexic's ability to come out and head a ball. Took a bit of buffeting as well, and the danger not yet clear. Now it should be. The whistle's gone in any case. And it was a brave bit of keeping there by Alexic. And he took quite a knock, as we'll see here now. It bounced awkwardly there, he had to do something about it, and charged into Gale. But he's all in one piece. Hoddle. Couldn't return the compliment though, and Spurs have got a chance of getting out of this spot. They certainly have now, but then it's given away again. And now Sammy Lee put through. And now Gale with a chance, and Liverpool go into the lead. Well, Spurs were their own worst enemies there. And Howard Gale comes in to score his first goal for Liverpool. Sammy Lee made the ball wide there, flicked through again, and suddenly Gale is in a lot of space, and the goal is at his mercy, 1-0. It's an afternoon for good football, really, because the pitch is in amazingly good condition right at this tail end of the season, playing really true. And really, this pitch is a credit to the Tottenham ground staff, there's no doubt about that. I remember what it used to be a few years ago, as Galvin trying to get to that byline, crossing it in there, nodded away, very well, in fact, by Alan Hansen. He goes straight into the touch for a Tottenham throw. Archibald looking to get to that byline, gets a corner. <laughs> Terrific goal scoring season he's had 25, and with Garth Brooks 21, that's 46 between the two of them. Here's Ricky Villa. Liverpool get it away, Kenny and Archibald hoping to make something, Hoddle with the shot, 1-1. Well, that's a typical Hoddle goal, a volley struck with tremendous precision and power, and that makes it 1-1. Well, it would have been a very quiet afternoon all around, and now suddenly we've got a couple of goals, and this one an absolute beauty. Not it away, not very accurately there by Liverpool, and Hoddle hitting it. On the rise and just inside that post beyond Ray Collins. 1 1. And here's McDermott playing it in towards Sunis. Sunis with the shot and that runs very awkwardly in front of Alexic. And the Spurs almost allowed Sunis in there. And just look at the nasty bounce there. And Alexic just had to readjust to get it. Yeah. Stretching Liverpool there, Crooks with a shot, and Clements spooning it away. And uh, the linesman was at the corner flag on the far side, the referee was looking as well, the ball did go over the corner. And it was a superb ball, and a shot well hit there by Crooks. 
Now, did it go over for the corner? I don't think it did. Rush. McAllister's header. Ardiles for Brook, a nice touch there. Hoddle, a good firm touch there. And Irwin's missed out. Crooks is in there. And Phil Neal has saved it by heading over his own crossbar. Well, the mistake was Liverpool's. Retrieved superbly by Phil Neal. Played forward there. It was Irwin who missed it completely there. Crooks, who may have thought he'd done enough there until Phil Neal arrived on the scene. satisfaction in Gary Brooks' face there, I think. Really hit it well, and it was curling a bit, away from Ray Clements, palmed up into the air and away. And 1-1 was the final score. You may have noticed that Graham Roberts was not in the Spurs side today because of the risk of him going beyond the 20 points and therefore facing a cup final suspension if he were booked today. Says the Spurs manager, Keith Birkinshaw, I probably have infringed the league's rule. However, I think it's wrong that a player booked in one competition should be punished by being suspended in another.